here today is our State Attorney, Melissa Nelson. So as we reported earlier today, search teams uncovered the remains of a child in a wooded area in, uh, in Alabama. Teams on the ground there are working on recovering the victim. And while indications are that this may be Taylor Williams, the exact identification of the victim uh, will be made pending some detailed forensic analysis of those remains. Brianna Williams, the mother of Taylor Williams, has been arrested this evening on charges of child neglect and giving false information to investigators during the search for Taylor. The suspect has been absentee booked at a local hospital after being admitted today due to an apparent overdose of some sort. So the search effort was a massive operation which included teams from local, state, and federal agencies and our community is indebted to them for their help, resources, and continued support. I'd also like to thank our local community for the outpouring of support and information that we've received for the last seven days while working this case. Uh, so with that, I will turn it over to uh, our state attorney for a couple of comments. Thank you, sir. The missing persons investigation of five-year-old Taylor Rose Williams that began last week culminated into an effort among multiple law enforcement agencies under the lead of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and across states. This is obviously not the outcome any of us had hoped to reach, um, but I want to thank all of the law enforcement agencies who really um, coordinated in an extraordinary effort to make this search happen. So this investigation has led us to what we believe to be the remains of Taylor Rose. And as Sheriff Williams mentioned, Ms. Williams has been arrested for the felonies of child neglect as well as making false statements during this investigation. So obviously at this time, many questions still loom and our office's work is just beginning. The amount of information that we have is um, frankly staggering and the legal implications complicated. This will require the systematic investigation of every piece of information, item of evidence, and lead to date. So as the sheriff asked, anybody who um, may have additional information about this case, we encourage you to please contact the sheriff's office. Already, um, the community's calls of cooperation have indeed mattered. We will continue to work with law enforcement to ultimately answer every question we are able to and ensure that justice is served for Taylor Williams. So, no, I won't talk about the details of the type of, of child neglect. Again, there's a lot of aspects of this case, especially as we stand here today, that we're not going to be able to answer. I think um, the state attorney said it best. There is a, a ton, an immense amount of evidence and data that we have to pour through, and, and there are a lot of legal questions and uh, you know things that have to be um, worked through with the state attorney's office. And so, you know, we don't want to give away information or say anything today that may hurt that case. So we'll answer questions that we can, but we may not be able to answer more. Was found inside So there are a lot of things in the course of the investigation that led us to that. Not only evidence that we found, but people that we talked to and other things that led us that we went there. led you to that dirt road in Alabama? What led the investigators to find those remains? So again, without going into a lot of detail, uh, a lot of comprehensive data was pulled together and uh, analyzing all that with the help of our federal partners, uh, we were able to, uh, you know, to find a, uh, a good location and begin that search and obviously that, that uh, led us to where we are today. So we, again, we won't comment on any of the condition or circumstances around the case prior to the disappearance. So she's in serious condition. I don't have an update as of about an hour ago, uh, but she is in serious condition at this point. Can you confirm that she tried to commit uh, suicide? Only she knows that. I know that there's what appears to be an overdose or she's ingested something we don't know as of yet. That's all very late breaking information, so uh, that'll be part uh, of, of you know, something we we'll have to dig into in the, over the next couple hours. Is there anyone else that is currently in custody involved in this case? Uh, no. No one else is currently in custody. And there are no other persons of interest? It's just uh, Taylor's one. So we will continue to investigate every lead, every aspect of this case. Uh, I think it's important to remember that we are uh, nowhere near done in this investigation. So, you know, while we've taken some, some steps today, uh, we've got a lot of work left to do. Um, and so, again, uh, we'll, we'll continue to follow the, uh, the where the facts and evidence lead us. Do you know specifically the timeline? Do you know was she found to have overdosed after the human remains were 
remains were reported found, or was it before? So I don't know the answer to that. So we'll have to look at all that throughout the you know the course of the next couple of days. Um, Sheriff Williams, based on the remains and what you guys know, know now, how long ago do we think that five-year-old Taylor Williams was um, again, not a lot of detail on that, uh, on the answer, but it's hard to say. Is what we can t- so we'll have, obviously, I-, I mentioned the detailed forensic analysis. We will have experts help us with that as well. Uh, so we want to know exactly. Uh, it's not really, you know, beneficial to speculate at this point. We just need the specialists to come in and, and you know, answer those questions for us. How soon, will it, how long will it probably take to get the, the confirmation of whether or not this is her DNA? So there are a lot of complicated, not only legal aspects, um, but obviously the science behind it may take a little while. So um, I don't want to give you a time frame because I'm not exactly sure. Uh, we have a time frame that we expect it to come in, but we could have challenges that, that arise that make it that delay that. So uh, we're going to continue to work through it, and uh, as soon as we know, uh, we'll, we'll be able to make sure everybody This is a homicide. Does this become an Alabama case? Or does this become a Jacksonville case or Georgia? Any indication where this these remains could have... So, again, as I mentioned, we have a lot of work to do, typically, where the crime occurred. So, uh, uh, again, but we got a lot of work left to do in this case. So, one more question. Are you able to describe the uh, decomposition of, of the body at this point? Uh, no, we won't get into details of that. Again, all of that uh, will be answered um, by the, by the, uh, the specialists when they come in and do their work. So, thank you.